Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin and Sons. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. It's really, really nice to see you again. We're going to be checking out a game called Hex Car Clash. It's another free-to-play game that's available on the PlayStation Network, and we're going to see what it is. To be honest, I imagine it's a deck-building game set in a fantasy world, kind of like trying to be, uh, maybe, I don't know, what's that one game that everybody plays with cards? You know, Hearthstone or Gwent. That's said you like the two trade-offs, could be. I imagine this game may have been around a lot longer than that. It may be based on an original card game. I personally haven't heard of it. So this is where we're going to learn something new. X Entertainment. Just so that you realize that you've been cursed. Yeah. Typical. Timing of everything. Battery dies just as I'm actually play going to play it. We got the soft. We got a new controller. We look good. I plan ahead. X Card Clash. Loading in Unity. Also, quite possibly, just the loader that's been downloaded. So we could be waiting quite some time. Ah. Uh, damn it. Okay, creating an account. Let's go through the creating an account process. See how quick it actually is. From the moment you start the game to the moment you create your account, it's pulse pounding action. You're Trevor Fenn, Knight of the Ch Chimera Guard, sworn to protect the citizenry. Looks like it will be another day of patrol, patrol this evening. As you begin your patrol around the outskirts of a town, you hear a rustling coming from the edge of the wilderness. Who's there? Show yourself. A gargantuan maggot emerges from the edge of the woods and slithers towards the nearest farmhouse. Where did that thing come from? Stay back, slug! Huah! Think. <laughs> the battle grid is open. Welcome to Hex. You will be playing as Trevor Fenn as he seeks to protect the village from danger. Use the triangle button to advance. Alright. These short introductory methods will help you guide you through the basic controls and strategies of a game of Hex. Excellent. To be honest, I actually thought it was going to be a... Doing the create and the kind thing was going to be a lot longer. This is actually not too bad. Your champion details are located at the bottom of the screen. The opposing champion can be seen here. Also, slightly feels like I'm about to play a game of... Puzzle Quest. In order to defeat your opponent, you must reduce their health to zero or less. You can use trip cards to damage your opponent and reduce their health. This Sadamanthian Elite and Dragon Guard are both troops that you can use in combat. The number at bottom left corner of the top troop card is the attack, which indicates how much damage his troop deals in combat. Alright, fair enough. Twos and threes. Alright, Magic the Gathering actually. Like I said Hearthstone and Gwent, but actually it feel a lot more Magic the Gathering-y. Once per turn, you will be given the opportunity to attack your opponent with any of the troops under your control. Let's attack the enemy now! With all the troops! Up. Oh. There we go. Uh, press the X button to assign the highlighted troop to an attacker. Once both your troops have been assigned, press the triangle button to confirm your attack. <laughs> you just activated my trap guard. Troop cards become exhausted. Turn sideways when they attack. Holy shit, is this magic gathering or not? Well done, your attacking troops will now deal damage to your opponent's health. The giant maggot slithers closer to you as you prepare your attack. No harm will come to this village on my watch. Watch out! You have won the victory against the giant maggot. <laughs> Alright, so I'm assuming they oh, uh, and then you get handed a bunch of cards. Nice, that's okay. So essentially you get your basic understanding, your basic cards, your first deck from doing so. Reduce your opponent's health to zero to win the game. Attack with troops to damage your opponent. Troops become exhausted when they attack. A troops attack. Value disturbs their combat damage it deal. Uh, so this really does feel like a Magic Gathering game, which I'm actually kind of on board with. I really did like, uh, was it First of the Planeswalkers? Some of the Planeswalkers? Trials of the Planeswalkers. I enjoyed the hell out of that whenever it was actually on the original 360. In fact, it got me into Gathering for about 68 months before I realized, like, shit, this is a money sink. A piercing screech draws your attention upward. A giant winged bat-like creature swoops down and lands before you. A duskwing. These corrupt beasts are the servants of the necrotic. The duskwing screeches loudly. Stay back, you winged vermin. I will not let you claim a single host for your master. And onto the battlefield once again. I'm assuming it's going to teach me how to lay cards down now. That makes sense. Champions can have different starting health total, but your goal remains the same. Reduce your opponent's health to zero before they do the same to you. Alright. You can come to this task by playing cards are from your hand. You can get a better view of the cards in your hand by highlighting them using L. Ah, uh, there we go. 
Lay, lay, lay. Lay, 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 lay. Lay, lay, lay. You will need... First need resources. Ah, uh, yep. I, I was honestly, I was waiting to see if they would actually start chatting about resources. It is seriously a Magic's Guard. It is Magic's Gathering. That's essentially what this is. We just needed to play Diamond Cards. There are five shard types. And... Yep. 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 Magic's Gathering. To be honest, that's kind of cool. I'm glad there's actually a, a magic magic card game now available on consoles to play. And the diamond shard has also given us resource points. Resource points are used to play. Hey, the coins required to play cards. You can view your current store resources and thresholds at the bottom screen. This is a game that you cannot play online at all, I imagine, if you're planning to play anybody who might be watching you because you are showing your cards at all times. Although I can imagine if somebody actually built a overlay that would cover your cards just for play until you showed them hmm. hmm future game types future game ideas i like this resources are displayed as a set of two numbers for example you currently have one and one yep that makes sense number on the left is called temporary resource and indicates how many resources you still have available to spend this turn number on the right shows the total number of resource points you will replenish your turn playing cards the number of resource points you receive ah right so yep same thing gathers above land over time if you were to spend a resource point this turn, the indicator would display as 0-1 to show you that you spend your only resource for the turn. On your next turn, your resource would reset back to 1-1. One, one. So, essentially by adding another diamond, I'll have 2-2, two, two, then I'm going to have 4-2, two, 6-2, two, and you only play one resource part on each of their turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially, by ending my turn, like letting back and forth get our first bit of pieces out. The Dustwing's hateful eye stare back at you. Your foul blood magic is no match for the member of the Chimera Guard. Whoops, he just used the uh, darkness resource. Yes. And now I play another one of these. Yes, I believe. I oh, you draw one for your deck. Wait, so play another diamond card. Boom. That you have me at 2 2. Yep, my 2 2. Ah, so I can play. Wait. Bloody Yeti. Ah, uh, it has to be the right resource, so it has to be a diamond. Okay, gotcha. Oh yeah, play the card. All right, special requirement. Uh, yeah, yeah, makes sense, doesn't it? And end your turn. So, uh, I don't know what I need for the red ones. Uh, I think it was ruby, was it? Hey, obviously that's exactly what they needed. Is Ruby resource and play as Yeti? Buddy Yeti! And that's that done. And then I suppose I can attack, right? Uh, you can play in a turn. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, what I just did. Did I not? Uh, allows the troop to attack the same turn it is played. Ah, right. So each one of those can actually attack. Sweet, that makes sense. Uh, you may press to view your highlight card in detail. Yeah, that's if I want to get a closer look at it. And now I attack. Boom! Death to the Bloodwing! Or Batwing. Whatever the hell it was. Victory! And you have gained three cards. The Dustwing takes the air, ripping purple blood to the ground in its way. That was an necrotic scout. I'm sure of it. Or rumbling behind you. Bring your attention back to the village. Punches up from the dirt, followed by the rest of a sword wielding skeleton. I was right. This is a full-scale invasion. Okay. Am I actually going to play this one now? Yes! Alright, so they really did. They, they just got, you got to start. Uh -huh. Down. I wanted to get... I wanted to actually stop holding my hand a little bit in this one. Ooh, it's a great hand turn. Yeah, I think this, this is Magic the Gathering. That's essentially all this is. I'm sure I'm going to have to learn what there's different types of characters. And in time, uh, your opponent has played the troop card, they're unable to attack you the next turn. I imagine they Yes, that makes sense. Am I able to defend? Okay, how do you use your opponent's block? Okay, so up, and block! What a All right, corner is defense. Uh, it's 1-1 one, one with my 3-3 three, three of mine. What? What? Oh, I'll kill it. Yeah, no worries. I uh, went down and you to the three defense. Boom! And the king graveyard. Goodbye. 
Need more mana. The turn to cause fall damage to a troop. What? All right, fatal damage. Sorry, I said fall damage. Your original Buffalo Sweet Defense will now be restored. Why? Right, thank you very much. Ah, uh, so it makes sense per turn. It actually be a number of enemies. So actually, yeah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. gotcha. Uh, boom. Yeah. Yeah, so he's not gonna stop me. Ben, ben. Boom! Happy days! Play one of those. And play one of those. What? Uh, Deploy's power has increased your health by two. Alright, so that's actually a healing card. Alright, end turn. Alright, so I think I'm getting this now. I'm getting the method. Uh, yeah. What? Yes. Ah, uh, right. It's ready to block, however, it would be destroyed by and uh, only deal one down to the Yeah, so we just skip. Yep, so you have to receive two damage. Boom! Happy days. Shit, I did not realize I had like 22 health. I just like let him hit me as many times as I want. I'm just gonna start dropping resources. A dire fox! I don't know. Each champion has a unique skill to bring to the battle called a champion charge power. You can view your power by highlighting your champion and pressing square to imagine. Oh. Speed! Oh, you can attack this turn. Wait. Um, Trevor's charge power. Oh, wait. Huh? All right. So troops you control get plus one, plus one. Nice. Cool. I need, it's four charge, but I don't actually have it yet. Standard resource. Oh, so you got one for each resource. Oh, interesting. So if you're playing like a green growth deck, you'd actually be racking shop with this guy. Uh, charge power will flash when you're ready to be used. Yeah, there we go. Use that shit. All of you! Attack! You charge forward and unleash a fierce attack upon the skeletal invader. Back to the grave with you, horror! Boom! Okay, so tutorial rewards. The tutorial is actually quite enjoyable. I mean, essentially, it's teaching me how to play Magic the Gathering, which, to be honest, like, anybody should know at least one game of this type. If you know one, then you can work your way around the rest. As you approach the tombstones of the village cemetery, the spotter robed in a necrotic knee. Necrotic kneeling beside a freshly exhumed corpse. The necrotic is preparing to place glittering white gems in the eye sockets of the body. Stop, fiend! I'm not allowed to desecrate the fallen. I guess I pray. But you are be very dirt. We wish to awaken a given purpose. Enough. You will already even come in here. Ever. No. You will die. Hey, I'm on first. Hey. Light. Ooh, can only block other It is. I spent my point. I'm moving on. I got this yet. I got this. Hey, this has been nuts. Anything's going on there. Oh. Yeah. I already knew that. Alright. She just wants me to fight attack with him, but I don't need that. I'm gonna actually just build up more damage. Yep. Hello! Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Don't you turn your shit at me. Yeah, so I just choose you. Back with that. Even one slap to the face there for you, boy. It's a normal troop. That's all good.
few some people gonna die? Everyone is using their champion charge power. They're sacrificing their dust stalker in order to enhance their determined zombie. Uh, you'll be able to take down the improved. What? Are you try? Oh, yeah, working together. It's going to be stay there. You play my defense. I'm going to use you and you. Yeah, blockers. Yeah, each in turn. Two damage this entry. Blah blah blah. Down you go. Uh, yeah, using multiple blockers can often be effective. Yeah, that's what it should be. One does play power, which has flight. Okie dokie. Oh, well, fuck you! An action card. Alright, so immediate one time crackling bolts. So you want to use that one on the, um,. Vampiric motherfucker. Well, I need to deal three damage to a single troop by selecting the target of the action. Yes, I believe I know exactly what I'm going to do with you. Bye bye. Watcha! The only thing is, this game doesn't have enough visual kind of flair to it. Just that it feels like I'm actually playing a game of Magic the Gathering just at a table. It doesn't have yeah, the Hearthstone destruction kind of bolts and stuff. To war! Now finish the match of your own accord. You're gonna stop holding hands with you. Stiffest. Ah, uh, they immediately get attacked with the other thing. Okay. So, we don't want to put any of those now. Ah, we're on your opponent's turn. Cool. Oh, you activated my trap guy. This is actually this literally does sound like trap cards. Boom. Boom. Ah, so just being doubling the strength and then being able to take it out. Boom. Ha ha ha. Plenty of resources here. Not the cards to use. Uh oh, I'm a me. Looks like I mean to put back. Boy, this deals three damage to opposing champion. At the end of your turn, this deals one damage to each opposing champion. All right. This is just like a, a field of fire, essentially. beans. Play a resource every time you can. Makes sense. And permanent gods if you want to cheer. Uh, so a constant arts. Okay. Threat requirements. Victor effect will prove the attack of your opponent's troops. Ah, well that's sucky. I just burn one of my cards. You see what that mistake current foolishness happened. Once you are awakened, you will understand the folly in all of your sh No, I won't give up. We have one yet. Go away, card. Go away. Why is I speak? Why can't I remove that card? Card, go away. There we go. Two Scarless Raiders. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to play that card. Okay. Why is that my speed? <laughs> Alright, I glitched the game slightly by actually pressing the wrong button at the wrong time. But it was still enough to kill me. Well, guys, this is kind of an X. Um, obviously, it's it's a hard to say. Um, simple, you know, card based battler game where you're deck building. Now, I've obviously I'm not going. I'm going to play through the whole tutorial to be honest, because uh, this is something that actually if I wanted would actually play. I can get into proper you guys or hex players who actually have some extra anything that you can give me. Feel free to throw them in the comments. Comments below are always a good place to actually talk about things. Like, you know, 
That's what the deck for. Each turn. Thanks. I would cover Hex more often in the future. Um, if it's actually something that'd be interesting to you guys. I played my Gathering for about mm, near months, and I kind of got a decent enjoyment out of it. But I never got in Hearthstone, mostly because um, I didn't want to play it on PC or on mobile ice. And mm, they were having a cool game that I could play this on. Yeah, I can do it, because that's what I got into Magic in the first place. We'll play, uh, Trials of the Planeswalkers. Uh, Duel, uh, Jewels of the Planeswalkers. Jewels of the Planeswalkers. That was, I don't remember. I think it was like Magic One. Uh, the more recent versions. But yeah, uh, I should give this a try and play a bit more of it if you guys want to see more of it here on the channel. So, um, if you're this, uh, obviously, I have to apologize for the last day. Very slow. The audio should be absolutely fine, but the video has been really, really choppy today during the podcast. And it's been annoying the life out of me. I apologize profusely for that. But, um, yeah, uh, if you actually watch this, if you enjoyed it, and you actually enjoyed seeing the gameplay, and you want to see more of your own channel, and you want to talk about me in the chat, then make sure you hit some Discord or on the front page or in the comments or any of the 14 ways you get hold of me. And, of course, you can be watching this on YouTube. There'll be people there, I really appreciate it. There'll be right here, we'll actually be cool opens, free to play games, free to play face. It'll be most relevant to this. Over the far side, we'll do a recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you. Based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube and the cookie, all the data gets on you. It'll be something you might actually like. Always right here inside that button. Hope you like it. It'll be good. It'll be good fun. Have fun with it. So guys, thank you for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next episode. Bye. Here, sweet says, the connection is awful. I'm gonna actually take a moment break to see if there's anything to do in speed up that connection. Uh, very quickly, I have the musical stance of Angry Battlenick from Hex. Hey guys, I just ended up becoming a mukbang episode because um, I was <laughs> pretty important and they also put on food for me, so I'm going to continue. The problem is I don't want to stop the stream because I have so much time to play. I'm going to be munching on this all I might just throw on a couple of trailers, review, uh, reaction videos, playing from them because I play and eat at the same time.